I was saying it earlier that um, this, this man has a very special place in our evolution in hip hop culture, but unbeknownst to him or not. Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure if he tried this, but you know, <laughs> I'm not sure if it was a part of the plan that hey, I'm gonna help ignite hip hop culture and help <laughs> rap artists, you know, branch out outside of the genre of the music. And when Boys in the Hood came out in in ninety one, ninety one, and we saw Ice Cube grace that screen. Yeah, Ice Cube's performance in Boys in the Hood is uh, timeless. Yes. Yeah, yeah, it's and, a perfect movie. So you know, pretty much everybody that's in it gives just uh, flawless performances, whether it's, you know, Ice Cube or Nia, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. or Cuba, you know, Cuba Morris, Morris yeah. Tyra, you know, I mean, everybody's, Every, yeah, everybody's wonderful. They were all young then. And we were all young. We were all young. Yeah, <laughs> no, my bad. Mr. Fishburne, we were all young. E That's 91. Even, even I was you were, young. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah, you played a dad, and I was like, well, how much is the age difference? Well, there wasn't that much age difference. Yeah. The age difference between me and Cuba is the same as the age difference between me and Anthony Anderson now. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm not going to reveal exactly what that number is. Uh -huh. People out there, y'all want to go on the IMDb and check it out. That's fine. You can figure that out for yourselves, but it's pretty much the same. Pretty much the same. Yeah. You continue to do this deep cover, launch the career of you know Snoop. Snoop. Yeah, you know. yeah, Snoop's first hit record. Yeah, first hit actually record. his first record, I believe. I'm I'm not sure, but I think it was like it's Didn't the dog. It's the one that introduced Snoop Doggy Dog. Yeah, to the world. To the world. Yeah. You know, yeah. uh, I could continue to name a lot of your movies. I was just watching Hoodlum the other day. Okay, you cool. know, and to me that was a slept on movie. I don't know uh, how it did in the box office, but uh, that. That's it a, did all right. I mean, it's it's classic. People enjoy it still. So you know, I'm I'm very proud of that one. And you know, obviously, you said King of New York earlier, mm -hmm. which was for me, um, my intention in 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 performing the way I sort of uh, created that role. Mm -hmm. I mean, for me, the template was I, I was consciously trying to put the first hip hop gangster on screen. Wow! Wow! Because wow. there had not been a hip hop gangster on screen who mm -hmm. was who identified himself as such. Mm -hmm. And there was a cat that I knew living in Bed-Stuy uh, who was a young would-be rapper. He, I don't think he ever really had much of a career, but that's kind of how he built himself. Really? Yeah. Okay, and yeah. then let's let's fast forward to Blackish. Yeah. Ra Black round of applause for Blackish, man. Yeah. You know everybody on the on the cast been on the show except for oh, you. Oh, 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 everybody's been here. Uh -huh. Everybody, well, Anthony, better late than never. Better late than never. <laughs> Anthony, I consider a good friend of mine. Yeah, uh, and I'm so impressed uh, with his range. Oh, absolutely. From the early days of the Apollo. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. To now, <laughs> you know, it's really amazing to see. Um, what impresses you about co-stars? Well, you know, Anthony in particular. Anthony has always moved seamlessly between both comedy and drama. Yeah. Anthony's always had this, you know, arsenal of, of, of talent where he can just do just about anything. I mean, you know, let's, you know, he's charming, he's handsome, mm -hmm. he's funny, he's got depth, um, and all of which requires real intelligence. So, I mean, I've always admired and, and, and loved Anthony and wanted to work with him for years because we've known each other for a long time. Mm -hmm. And um, it's just, it's a blessing that Blackish is the thing uh -huh. where we actually get to do this familial thing where we get to be father and son. I mean, it's really different. It's very, very yeah. um, easy, uh -huh. you know, because like I said, we got all this history. We've known each other for at least 15 years. Yeah. Yeah. And we admire each other and we have real uh, affection for each other. So uh -huh. it's, it's, it's natural. I would imagine uh, because you've had to navigate your way through the business, and we, every mm -hmm. actor, a list actor we've had up here has talked about the the, the valley. Oh uh, yes, the, the valley valleys and the mountain and the mountain tops. <laughs> uh, and if you think back, just let's say when you know Boys in the Hood was out, the mm -hmm. kind of conversation that you guys are having weekly on you know on, on a Blackish, major, on Blackish yeah. a major network, yeah, would have been taboo. Yeah, yeah. It's, what's beautiful about Blackish is that we're having conversations. Um, in the mainstream culture or mm -hmm. popular culture that black folks have been having for, you know, more than 50 years, mm -hmm. you know, privately in our homes amongst ourselves. Yeah, right. <laughs> um, but our culture has become so much, the dominant culture has adopted so much of our culture mm -hmm. um, that now suddenly after, you know, 35 years, it's like comfortable to talk about these things with 
everybody with good humor. I mean, mm-hmm. that's why we're having these conversations on Blackish. We're be able we're able to do it because we're doing it with humor. Yeah, you know. Yeah. So it's not just like kind of like an angry black stance, so much as it is just a black stance that's humanistic mm-hmm. and um, you know really coming from the angle of of comedy. Mr. Lawrence Fishburne is here, man. I'm, I'm probably going to retire <laughs> after the day like me. It's so nice, though. Your voice now, like we're talking, like your voice, I'm hearing your voice. We have a similar kind of you timber. Think, yeah, yeah that's, I've been Don't told we? that. Yeah, 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 I get that, man. A lot of um, late yeah. Yeah, right when I do that. Yeah, when okay, you go there. Okay. I like that. You like that's that right there? I like that from you, too. Doesn't he sound like fish? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell him that. Don't, Don't have it all. Hey, man, no, come on. Man. I, <laughs> I've been told it's very sexy. <laughs> I've been told that too. <laughs> Lawrence Fishburne, we're going to come back and talk about Madiba. 888 742 3345. There it is. Why do people ignore activism, movements, politics? Because they feel that they, as one person, have no power. No voice. That is why they feel they will never be heard. We must make them feel that they are being heard. Make them feel that if they support us, every last South African, from the rich white Africana in Johannesburg to the poor black lady in that township, will have a voice. That's a clip from the new miniseries premiering Wednesday, February 1st, on BET, called Madiba, who is being portrayed by the legendary Mr. Lawrence Fishburne plays Nelson Mandela based on the book Conversations with Myself and Nelson Mandela by himself kind of portrays his younger years, right? Well, it starts with him as a, you know, seven or eight year old boy. Yeah. Then you meet him later as a teenager, as a young man in his 20s. Um, the actor who plays him in his 20s is a South African actor whose name is Yonder. Uh-huh. And he's wonderful. And then I sort of pick up with him sort of like in his mid to late 30s and go all the way through the presidency. Okay. Yeah. What, what made you want to take, because we were talking off mic, and I've seen a lot of different portrayals of his sure. life in different movies. What made you, what, what appealed to you about this script? Well, listen, they, they offered it to me, and I couldn't, you know, I mean, I couldn't refuse that. I mean, yeah. it's... it's uh, an honor to be asked to play somebody like Mandela. Um, There are a few individuals in life that you get an opportunity to play as an actor. You Mm -hmm. know, there's, there's a very small group, you know, there's like Jesus, (laughs) Gandhi, Uh a couple of Shakespearean Kings, (laughs) Um, maybe some African Kings that we don't know about, but uh, somebody like Mandela, you know, arguably, not even arguably, but certainly one of the greatest statesmen who ever lived in, you know, this century and the century before. I mean, it's uh, it's an opportunity you can't you can't say no to. You can't say no to. Yeah. Did you feel that way about playing Ike Turner? No, actually, I didn't want to play Ike Turner. Oh, but right. um, when I discovered that um, Angela was going to play Tina. Tina, then I knew I couldn't turn it down because I had become aware of Angela's work in the theater, and I had seen her in, jo- in Joe Turner's Come and Gone, which is a August Wilson play, and um, recognized her gifts, and, you know, we uh, we almost made a movie together in 1988, but that, that didn't happen. So when, when I realized that she was going to play Tina, I just felt it was important for me to show up and support her by playing Ike. Mm. Hey, can we get some of that cake? Matter of fact, bring that whole cake over here. <laughs> Come on, man. I don't want to take. Come on, just look here. Come on, Ike. What's the matter, baby? You high? You embarrassed me. Oh, come on, man. Open your mouth. So you that white man answer to open your mouth? You sing all goddamn day long. No. I ask you, ain't gonna say nothing. Now. Come on, now I'm asking you nice. And I'm saying no nice. You know, Ike, come, come on. Come on, this cake. Come, come on, cake. Eat some cake. Yeah. Ike. Oh, so you done no, lost I, 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 Eat the cake. <laughs> Eat the cake. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, man, you, 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 you influence hip-hop so many ways. Even that line. Yeah. Yes, has become a part of the hip-hop lexicon. I'm, I'm, I, yeah, I've heard. I've heard. Yeah. I'm Ike. Turn up. Turn up. Baby, no, I don't play. Now eat the cake. Anime said eat the cake. Eat the cake. I'm nice. 
<laughs> Real up. Thank you, Jay Z. <laughs> <laughs> do, 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 do you have um? Well, go ahead, DB. I know he's been holding them. Sorry, because uh, yeah, yeah, me, sure. me, <laughs> me and Sway got, got to watch the, the early screening of Madiba, and yeah. uh, we were talking about, and, and what I wanted to ask you about it was uh, imitating the African uh, accent can be very difficult because so many countries within it, you know what I mean, yes. are, are they can have different... Yeah, the South Africans have about 18 different sounds. They have 11 different official languages. So, yeah, their sounds are very, very diverse. Right. And as an actor, when you do an accent, whether it's African or British or whatever, it can go one of two ways. It can be authentic or mm -hmm. it can be amusing because mm -hmm. you're so bad at it. Mm -hmm. Did you have a coach or did you have somebody or did you just on your own? I have it? ears. I have very large ears. <laughs> oh, so wow. I listen. And uh, in my listening, I found a space and a sound that I felt was accurate for what I was doing in terms of trying to represent the man. I mean, he had a very different sounding voice. He was a tenor. Mm -hmm. Mandela's voice was way up here. My voice is here. Um, I felt it wasn't going to be, I felt it would be distracting for me to try and reproduce a tenor sound, but rather to have just an accent that was authentically South African sounding and also clear enough for non-South African ears <laughs> to uh -huh. be able to understand uh -huh. what I'm saying. <laughs> right. That's a good point because yeah. that wouldn't go over well in America if we didn't no, if if they, we couldn't if, hear the if dialogue. You, if, they, if the accent is so like perfect and so specific to like let's say he's a Hosa man, right? If I was doing that, it would be like what did he say? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So and we'll turn from BET if that happens, and we don't want to turn from BET. <laughs> All right, February 1st, Mediva. Uh, we got uh, Ryan on the line from Gary, Indi Indiana. What up, Ryan? Hey, Ryan. Yo, yo, Sway Calloway. This right here is one of the very reasons, one of the many reasons you're goat in my book. This right here, you, 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 you that dude, man. Thank you. Um, <laughs> right. Mr. Lawrence Fishburne. Sir. I, I, I'm a late '80s baby. Uh -huh. uh, I was raised on cornbread early. Oh wow! Um, oh wow! Along with with many, your 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 resume is impeccable. Dude. Thank you, sir. Um, <laughs> I'm not normally the starstruck type of guy, and I haven't. It's not even like I've physically met you yet. I'm just on the phone with you, but I'm I'm speechless. You better get to that uh, question. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I will. Um, my question for you is: If I remember from the trailer correctly, uh, John Wick Two, it appears as if you're uh, reuniting with uh, Keanu Reeves, aka Neo. Has there any, it, there any talks of it, uh, a fourth film or a reboot of any type? Uh, I haven't heard anything about um, you know another Matrix film, um, but yeah, I'm in the John Wick Two picture, and uh, it was nice to work with Keanu again. And I've seen the picture, and it's actually a lot of fun. Um, but as far as another Matrix, uh, all I can tell you, man, is I'm sorry. You're just going to have to watch all three of them again. Okay. All right. That's not a, that's not a problem. <laughs> a lot of your movies I have on rerun. I feel like I, when I watch your movies, uh, even Cornbread or On Me, it's like I watched it for the first oh, time, man. I thank get you. the same feeling. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You had the opportunity to work with so many amazing um, colleagues in the industry. So for those that you haven't worked, who would be like your five man, woman dream team to be in a film with? Um, I would love to work with a lot of people. Obviously, Viola, Denzel. Um, I would love to work with uh, Amy Adams again, even though I've worked with her. We didn't get to do like a whole bunch of stuff together, but mm -hmm. I'd love to work with uh, Gyllenhaal. I'd love to mm. work with um, Mr. Ali, mm -hmm. uh, Mahershala, Mahershala. Yeah. In, in Moonlight, and has been doing it right. I'd like to work with Andre Holland. I'd like to work with... Um, Chadwick Boseman. Um, I'd like to work with uh, Michael Kenneth Patrick. I mean, Michael Kenneth Williams again. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, he did an episode of CSI when I was on it. Um, I'd like to work with Queen Latifah again. Mm -hmm. uh, I'd love to work with uh, Angela again. You know? Angela Bassett. Yeah. She's been on the show too. Mm -hmm. You're the last one. You're the last one. All right. <laughs> so, so listen, uh, Mr. Fishburne, uh, Madiba's premiering Wednesday, February 1st. Uh, it's a mini series on BT. Yes. Make sure you guys watch it um, in celebration of your work, uh, and, uh, and hopefully you'll come back to us. I'd love it, to come back. Thank okay, you. thank you. Yeah, um, we put together a little game, and I don't know. How oh, you got a game? You Let's got go. a game? Okay, okay. And, and it's called it's called Knowledge of Self. Ah. Why don't you remind our audience who you are and what you do? Pop quiz, hot shot. It's now time for Knowledge of Self. 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 self, self, self. On Sway in the Morning. You don't know shit! 
<laughs> okay, here we go. You are here the first go. person of 2017 to play our game Knowledge Yourself. I Excellent. picked some of my favorite clips, and you have to guess what movies they came from. Easy. Okay? Easy. First one, easy one. Let's go. You see something wrong, and you don't say nothing about it. Well, that's just the same as telling a lie. Cornbread Earl and me. Exactly. Okay. 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 Number two. That's the easy one. That's the easy one. <laughs> Don't you understand, brother? I mean, ain't gonna be no white shirt and tie for you. The man says, if you don't have it, then you ain't gonna get it. Quicksilver. Correct. Wow. Woo. Now that blinking, was gonna be the, yo, I thought yo. that was gonna be the one. I think he had it in the first line. All right, let's do okay. number three. I got a new theory about all these suicides, right? Think about it. All their parents dropped ass in the 60s. He got it. 60s. He got it. <laughs> Nightmare on Elm Street 3. Mm. Yep. Mm. Damn. 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 Three. Come on, All right. Man, Number four is going to be easy. That's the sound of the men oh. working on the chain. Damn it. They never yeah, Just screw the game, man. That's not bad. Oh, shit. Okay, one more. Last, cadence. last one. <laughs> <laughs> Count a lonely cadence. Okay. All right, last one. It knows my fears. It knows my secrets. Gets inside your head and it shows you. Event Horizon? Damn. Yeah. Perfect score. Woo! I wouldn't expect anything less, Mr. Lawrence Fishburne, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you so much. We enjoy I know nothing. I know nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for being a guest on Sway in the Morning, man. You're a citizen, You're welcome, man. man. Thank I you, appreciate brother. you, man. Nice to, nice to meet you, and thank you for having me. Nice to meet you yeah. in person. I feel yeah. like I already know you, though. This I'm not going to lie. You, you've been my, my cousin for all these years. All right, then, cuz. All right, cuz. All right. All right. <laughs> All right, we also want to thank the Migos for coming by and Bellamy Young from Scandal. Make sure you watch that as well. Um, tomorrow's show, we got a humdinger. Humdinger. I'm headed to uh, the Bay Area, going home to Oakland. I'm going to be visiting San Quentin and talking to a lot of inmates there. Tomorrow, I'll be on the yard. Mm -hmm. Tell me I ain't hard. Wow. All right? And until then, we have nothing left to say. It's Sway in the morning. Only on Shade 45. Kilo.